This meeting is being recorded. Hello, Wellbeing Wednesday, and it also happens to be Healthy Happy Hearts Day. <laughs> February 14th, everyone's celebrating the love month today. But I love February because every day is a healthy heart day. <laughs> so it's a really fun month for me. Um, it's a sad month, though. Um, it's, a, it's a happy, sad month because uh, I got a call from a girlfriend who I don't talk to often, but knew it was bad news when she called and her mom had passed away from a stroke. Oh, so yeah. that's too bad. Yeah. And, you know, and Sharon had someone close to her this week, right? Yeah. And, you know, whether it's cancer or heart disease, I bet Betty and I bet Betty and Kathy know. Oh, for sure. yeah. uh, so cancer, heart disease, yeah, right. All of the diabetes, all those daily, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, Sharon was just heartbroken earlier. I was heartbroken. It's, it's, um, it's hard when it's healthy heart mm -hmm. month and it's, you know, have a health happy, you know, it's a love month to, not have people be ready and willing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's really hard. Because we know that like, diseases of lifestyle are preventable, reducible, right? Reducible, preventable, um, even, you know, sometimes, even sometimes reversible. If we do the right things. And so yes. we, we know that, but we can't make them ready, right? Can't, we can't make them ready. And that's the hard part. We just have to learn to let go, pray on it, and let go. But here's the thing, share, care and share, right? Just keep caring what your successes are, what your joy is now that you're learning new healthy things and, you know, and, and invite them to these things. And um, because we, 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 we cannot be, or we, it's not soon enough for anybody. It really yeah. isn't. We're yeah. already, we're already too late. Right. I mean, it's just, and my, even my own dad, I'm He's eating himself into oblivion with sugar and he doesn't care. And he's getting all kinds of issues that he knows are directly related. And he's so mentally unwell, um, the, depression, yeah. right? Depression and the sugar just makes it all worse. Right. So it's yes, it does. Yeah. Vicious cycle, it. Sugar, dementia, memory, energy, um, you know, obesity, all the disease process. It's just, it's all this big mess, right? So again, <laughs> it's never too late and it's never soon enough to say something to someone. So I, I sent out today um, that, uh, you know, have a heart, save a life. Um, I sent out the um, yes, the obesity, the uh, medical weight loss thing today. Again, I'm just, I'm going to make sure all my clients sign up for it. Everybody, I don't want everybody necessarily. I will not, I will not not support people who are doing it. Of course, everyone make their own choice, but we want to make sure that everyone has all the information that they need to yeah. make an educated decision about pros and cons. And um, sometimes it is the right next move. For them. And other times it's not going to be, but either way, the thing they say on this webinar that I absolutely adore is medications are optional. Healthy lifestyles are not. No, no. Uh, that is never going to make sense. It's yeah. never going to change. Isn't, that, isn't it brilliant? It's yeah. Brilliant. It, it, you know, even heart medication and blood sugar medication and all that's optional. Mm -hmm. You could choose. Yep. I mean, really to do something about it. And the sugars and yeah. I mean, you can, it's optional. Really, most of the time, most of the time, right? But again, this is really important. So I want y'all to get the webinar, watch it, send it to friends, because it is the co it is the topic of conversation. Remember, it is a multi billion dollar um, industry. It is being mass marketed. So there's no one who is thinking about their weight or their health issues that isn't thinking about it right now. They are masters at this, so we have to consider that they're considering to consider it or not. In yeah. which case, they need information. So send them the webinar, give them my phone number, connect them with me. I'm happy to not tell them what to do, but yeah. support them, 
where they're at. Good. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to tell them good, bad, or ugly. I'm not going to give any opinions because everyone has their own scenario. So uh, please, please, Karen, share, put, put some love in on someone by sharing it today. Um, and, uh, and also my story, I have this, uh, the other thing that Karen share is my story. And while it was this big, long 20 minute blah, you know, like, oh, I, you know, it, it was really important for me because I'm constantly telling people to share your milestones, share your wins, um, be aware of them and, and write them down and, you know, maybe post about it, share about it um, in optimal life or publicly or just with someone else. It's important that we share these things and get them out so that we can anchor them like they're real. If they're not real, then they don't really they can't move us forward. So that for me was propelling me forward in my journey and really needed to happen. And I told Kathy today when we talked, I said, you know, I had to face some ugly emotions that I didn't realize I had buried. I needed to face them. Yeah. yeah. And I had buried them so deeply that I needed to actually bring them up. I need to work through them. You know, I still, and, and we all have that. Yeah. So we, we, we all need to bring those things up and work through them. Don't we? Don't you think? Yes. And so while I'm not afraid to do it publicly, you don't have to do that, but <laughs> For me, it was important because I needed, that's how I emote. Like I, I, I can't, it was very difficult for me to write it. So anyway, but you can share that with someone. If something touched your heart, share it. Cause it, it's just raw and real and it was kind of ugly, but you know what? It's okay. Cause I just need to do it for me. And I am going to be at another, I'm at another level. I've never been here before in my life and I'm 53. So I have no idea what's coming next, but I'm cre I'm in creation of it. So I encourage you guys to never quit. Don't don't quit, and don't be afraid to be vulnerable and share the real raw deal. Okay, because it I had multiple people reach out to me after that, multiple. So yeah, don't <clears throat> don't don't be afraid to be vulnerable and share the real deal. Um, the other thing to share, I know I find it absolutely hilarious is that I did that seven day sugar challenge, Sharon, you know, under six grams of sugar, a uh, little seven day, keep track of, of the thing. I don't know, you know, if you guys were following it, but no, I had no. zero, 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 zero participation <laughs> on any of those posts. And it was hilarious because I... Because people are so addicted. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to see it. They don't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. But they know. Because they know how hard it is to get yeah, is. to get unaddicted to sugar. Right, Sharon? And I just thought it was hilarious how nobody was nothing. Crickets. But what, go back and watch the little videos that I posted because they're beyond brilliant. Did anyone watch any of those little videos? Not yet. The, the little videos I posted are beyond brilliant about the reality of sugar in our country and the addictive sugar and the, the food technology. And it's kind of like smoking, right? Sugar and smoke. It, it's big business, guys. It's it's really interesting. And there's a lot of science behind sugar addiction. There's a lot of science behind what it does to our bodies. So if you ever need any more added gumption to get off of it, I'm going to encourage everybody to go back and snag those and watch them. <clears throat> All right. So again, some. Um, so I talked about that a little checklist here. Um, healthy heart month. Okay. So remember within this hour that we're on here today, um, 80 people will have passed away from some sort of heart disease. So, Put a little bit of perspective in this. We want to make sure to to live out loud. If you're afraid to live out loud, just don't be, because everybody knows. Have you guys ever has have you guys ever said to yourself, "I know what to I need to do. I just need to do it." <laughs> yeah. How many people you mean have said that to us? Or how many times have you said that? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Really? Me too, but how many people have said it to me? <laughs> I, I, I see what you're doing there, Sharon. Turning it around. I see what you're doing yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. right. I've been oh, I mean, both apply. Both apply. Yeah, it goes so, both ways. Yes, it does. Both. And I've been a doctor forever, and you know, and I've been a chiropractor and I've been a health coach now. Okay, this is the the, the thing. 
one of the doctors on the medical medical weight loss thing he Video. just hit the nail on the head and i yesterday i was like oh this is one of those aha moments the only reason why you really can't do what you already know you need to do we i know it's mindset right okay we know it's mindset but you know what it really is it is pride and shame whoa Amen. Amen. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Right? Like, that's yeah. all it is. And you know what it is also? Guilt. That's all. That's big. <laughs> and it's guilt too, right? It's guilt. Yeah. I would add guilt. I would add guilt as a cherry on top. Because underneath all of that self-sabotage, underneath the inability to set boundaries, un underneath the ability to, to have self-control, when you know better is not only is amygdala, your amygdala is on fire, you know, you're in fight or flight. Okay. So that's real. Okay. That's real. But on top of that is shame and guilt. Those are emotions that have to be dealt with shame and guilt and pride. Okay. So deal, deal with the cake, which is the amygdala calming ourselves down, breathing, <laughs> right? self-soothing and really learning how to do that then we can deal with the shame and the pride yeah and the guilt okay so that just don't don't uh no, know that those things exist and it's real and we can't hide we can't run and we <laughs> and they said monday night they were talking to the girls on monday night so let's kind of segue and talk about that because i thought the girls on monday night did a great job um, talking about that and then um so let's touch on that today and then uh one other thing to mention is if you're doing a vision board um i want to hear today about your um work with your vision boards and how they're coming along and then tell me tell us a little bit about um uh that and then i want to encourage everyone to do what martha said to do to put a uh a smart goal on it. Um, so if you don't want to mess up your board, take a post, take a, take a post-it note and put a specific measurable attainable result in that in on your on your board because you're to work on the fact that that is an important does that make sense? So so the brain is working on making the vision come true and looking for it the right no, I'm here. for um what to how to fulfill on your vision um so I'll confident now fulfill on the date you want to do it by even okay. though you're not even yeah. if you don't get the date hey. maybe, oh, maybe amy can you write can you right click on betty and just mute her oh oh because she's on the phone yeah here no, I, I'm. I made other arrangements, so oh, she's, she's calling me back. She's calling me back. Okay. So. It's just when it was the phone and talking when we couldn't hear you, Amy. But that's okay. She's back. All right, hold on here. Um, I don't know how to mute that one. I can mute my one, but I can't mute this yeah, one. Yeah, not that fast either. <laughs> you are co-host now, so you could have. Okay. So now, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Carry on. Go back to that. So the reticular activating system in the brain goes to work on your vision boards and looks at, okay, how can I make this stuff happen? And it's going to work, right? It's, it's trying to find how to, and then with the date too, put the date on there and then it'll have the, the, it'll have its mind on the date as well. And, and I think that's an important component, which I have not done, but I, I intend on doing too. So your brain, your, your reticular, your razzy, you can go to work on finding, you know, maybe making that happen in that time frame. If it doesn't happen, it's okay. Just do a new post-it note, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know, give it six more months, see what happens. But I, I bet if you put a date and time on it, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, or time and tie bound. Okay. So many, I want this by X date. Um, all right. So Roxy, glad you're here. Okay, so let's talk about Monday and, you know, tell me, tell us about these other things that, that I brought up today. Um, who wants to go first? Who's, who has to leave earlier today? I'm hoping Margo gets on. I'm going to text her. Yeah. Yeah, and both, both Roxy and I saw Monday, but remember zero. <laughs> if 
but remembers you. I must have been doing something else. With the, if I don't sit there and take notes, it's like, okay. oh, Kathy, that was great. Book gone. Kathy, it's fresh for you. So why don't you tell us? Yeah, I just watched it this morning and I, I did take some notes. Um, Again, she talked about, you know, to love yourself. And I thought the other gal made an interesting point too. She said, like, if you think lowly of yourself uh -huh. in one in one respect, that's being selfish too. Mm -hmm. But it's just, you know, a lot of negative talk is obviously not good. But, um, and then she said to release yourself from the past and opinions of others do not matter. Amen, yes. Yes, and then she said, stop the people pleasing. And I could identify with all three of those things. <laughs> um, because she said, you've got to, um, you know, find, and find healthier relationships. Like if you have people that are, you know, giving you opinions that are certainly not relevant, then you need to find a healthier relationship. Amen. I, yes. And then the other one, I thought her, she kind of, uh, I can't remember their names, but um, she was saying like, if you're identifying a negative thought, what if you thought about it being the opposite? And I, you know, I never looked at it that way. And then she said, like, you would never talk to others. You would never put down somebody else. But why do you put down yourself? And that's, that's so and true, when, too. She also said, and you wouldn't talk to a child that way. Right. Oh. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when we're talking in our head, we're telling our inner child. So yes, how, yeah, right. how bullying is that? Mm -hmm. And I then she good. said embrace imperfection if you are a perfectionist i mean you tend to be critical of yourself if you expect perfection and she said right. there is no there is no perfect no i think mean, that's what ties us all together humanity we're all imperfect right and we need to accept and allow that, mm -hmm. that goals that. for improvement but not perfection mm -hmm. forgive ourselves mm -hmm. yep Yep. And, and you wouldn't talk to kids like that. Sharon picked that up too. You wouldn't talk to your grandkids like that, would you, Sharon? <laughs> no, no, never. Yeah. And, and they both, and this got me kind of tear jerked, you know, it was a tear jerker for me because um, they got pictures of themselves out when they were kids. And they, uh -huh. oh, that's true. Yeah. And they said, they said, would you talk to that little girl like that? <laughs> right. And that's what we do. And I got these pictures in my photo album. This is me when I was, I don't know, maybe eight or nine or eight, maybe. Um, I actually printed out pictures of my little me. Uh, and I really think it's powerful. And I think I think that there's a lot to that. Yeah. There, there's a lot to that inner child work, right? Would you tell her what you're saying? You know? No. So I, I, I like that. So thanks for bringing that out. Um, so maybe dig up some old pictures or something, huh? Yes. Anything else, um, Sharon? Or, or no, uh, Kathy, that you want to share about your? I know you finally watched the vision board recording and um, what you're up to next or what your challenges are. Well, I don't know what my challenges are right off the top of my head, but um, I just a couple of other things that came out of. of um, the Monday night too, that I thought were really important is that one lady said, you have to forgive the people that wronged you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then gratitude. They talked a lot about gratitude too. In including yourself. You have to forgive yourself if you mm -hmm. wronged yourself. If you wronged yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Embrace. Yeah, gratitude really is the antidote. So. Yeah, gra right. gratitude's the antidote for yeah for uh for for fear is what she said. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the vision board thing, Kathy, you watched and you're gonna get started on that. Any insights from watching watching that recording or your in? Um, well, it it was helpful to kind of just you know because it it's kind of hard just to start off the whole process, but going listening to that was helpful how to take the first steps. And I started you know gathering some pictures and writing down right. some things. So this, yeah, the steps. It was helpful. Right. Yeah. That's great. Cool. Very cool. So, and um, I know you've been worried about some people in your life. So I'm looking forward to 
you know, you're sharing the videos with them too. Betty, um, tell us about your vision board experience now and are you going to put some smart goals on it? I know you had one of the most creative boards ever because you throw out all your magazines like a good girl. <laughs> oh, well, thank well, you. That's one of your goals, but yes. what's your experience with that? And did you hear Monday night yet or not? No, I haven't had a chance. And I just saw when I turned this on this morning, um, I found I saw the hard thing that I want to go back and look at and sign okay. up for whatever's there. But yeah. no, but a lot of this, what you uh, were just talking about the uh, pride, shame and guilt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can. And I and I have overcome a lot of it many years ago. The one thing that that a counselor told me was because I'm not, it's not my responsibility uh, or the guilt or the shame or the, it was my fault for the, um, the abuse that happened to me. And he, and he's, and I had at the time, my granddaughter was, my one granddaughter was four. And what I did that whole year at school on my blackboard in the corner was a picture of me at four and a picture of Brittany at four. And every time I went by, I would think, and if an ugly thought came in my mind, I'd look at Betty Sue and I'd look at Brittany and no way you don't, you, you don't talk to Brittany that way. And I got past a lot of that negative thought. So that is something I, I do highly recommend you try because if you have a small child that you can do a picture and compare that the, the, that the child abuse, the sexual abuse, all that, it's not your fault, but by golly, it is ingrained in you that it is your fault. And so that, I hope that helps somebody. Another thing that helped me was someone called me a procrastinating perfectionist and that it's true. And I, it, it really helped me a lot because I just have to do my best. I don't have to be perfect and just just try what I can. You know, so you know what I you know what I just to stop you for for a second there. A thank you for being so vulnerable and sharing your heart with us. Really. Oh, I, I mean, and thank you for sharing your reality and that the whole thing with your that, that's that's brown brilliant. I just want to cry right now. That's awesome. It works. It works. I mean, and it, we all need to go find old pictures of ourselves. <laughs> okay. It, and I'm excited yeah. to have mine printed out now so I can look at it on my vision board. I'm putting her on my vision board. Yeah. Thank you, Betty. Oh, you are welcome. And B, um, what was I going to say about the other thing? What did you just say at the end? Um, the perfectionist, which I'm okay. not. Yeah, I'm a perfect. I'm a procrastinating perfectionist, but I'm not that anymore. No, I, right. So, so what? What I and what a good friend, Carrie's sister Kate reminded me of, and I need to remind myself of, and everyone needs to remind ourselves of, is anytime you say I am and you say something after it, it's your brain believes it. We yeah. gotta really watch the words I am, yeah, uh, and and make sure that whatever comes after that is healthy. Yeah. And yep. positive. And here's the thing about procrastination. Raise your hand if you're procrastinator perfectionist. <laughs> what? At, times, at times, have you been? Yeah. So, yeah. You know, the thing about those things I have learned over my last probably five, five to five to eight years is that those are responsible. Well, few, three years actually. They're in my brain trauma retraining in that work I've been doing in the um, nervous system regulation work, I have learned that procrastination and perfectionism are really just rooted in codependency and their yeah. avoidance, their avoidance behaviors to avoid feeling. I, I can't believe that. I can believe that. So, Which is also a mouthful. <laughs> whenever yeah whenever we're procrastinating what are okay what am i avoiding what what what's yeah. the real deal what what am i really avoiding dealing with or when i'm being a perfectionist which i do frequently i go okay what what is it what is it that if i get you know like compulsive compulsivity compulsive overdoing compulsive overgiving compulsive over hoarding compulsive over whatever 
compulsivity is really codependency, but it's really a reaction to not dealing with an emotion. Yeah. 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 Using our emotional processing videos from Optavia that we have using stop challenge mm -hmm. choose using all the tools for the havening. I'm, you know, sending that that's the only way to deal. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's what you were saying, right, Betty, that people have told you procrastinating perfectionist. So you have been known to be, or you were that. Yeah. And so what, and what did you take away from that? And how is it that you I, can now I, say that's my way? Yeah. I, I, I right away, I, I recognize that. And I've been working on this for 30 years, over 30 years. And now what I started was just this this year with, with my board and stuff that my 10 minute tidy, I call it. I have the list of things. I check that off religiously every day. And it's like, I get things done. It isn't because I forgot. I just check, check, check. And what I did during the day. And uh, by the time I go to bed at night, I have, and what did I forget? What did I not? And it, it's what a difference it's made. And it's, it's, it's not even 10 minutes. I just call it a 10 minute tidy. And mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It, it, that has awesome. helped me so much. You know what? And I, I come from the board. That Monday came night, the board. Yeah. Monday mm -hmm. night, they talked about the past is a university, not a prison. <laughs> and that's <laughs> what that comes to mind yeah. when you it's, your past is not a prison and you're not in prison to your past, buddy. I like that. I'm going to yeah. write. That. And you get your good oxytocin boost every time you have a check mark. It's like, yeah, I did good. I am good. I am getting things done. I tidy. <laughs> and you do that. You go. Yeah, you do. Go. Oh, I can go do that real quick before bedtime. And I'm, before I start my bedtime thing. Yes. Well, well and, now, and now you're looking at the pluses, the checks instead of the not. I'm not good. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. See, your yeah. whole perspective is changing. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful thing. We love dopamine hits that aren't involving sugar and eating. We love it. Yes. Yeah. What about yeah. Uh, what about you, uh, Carrie or Sharon? Roxy, if you're able. Sharon's got her notes there. Go ahead. About Monday night. <laughs> well, yeah, any, of, any of it. Storyboard Monday night. Um, yeah, she oh. had a third point. Don't eat your feelings. Mm -hmm. Feel my feelings. Don't eat your feelings. Mm -hmm. um, and using the stop, challenge, choose. And you can't be fearful and grateful at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, good one. Oh, that's nice. You guys um, got good highlights in your notes. Tomorrow, not guaranteed. I don't have regrets. Create oh, dreams. that one hits home. Um, create dreams even if do it scared. Yeah. Recording in progress. So, uh, yeah, do yeah, think it's scared. Hang on, just Oh, she got on another machine. Yeah, I like that. Do things scared. That's how yeah. long it took my um, computer to come up. I love that. <laughs> Congrats. Okay. Don't, 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 don't uh, uh, stop. I'm going to mute it while it's echoing there. Yeah. Should I, you should... There we go. There oh. we go. There we go. Now I love you can unmute. Now you can unmute again, Sharon. It was just doing the echo thing. I know. It took my computer way long time to come up. Okay. Is there um, the thing about regret that you were? Um, I am. I'm not exactly sure what she said, but I don't have regrets that the past. You give up the you know the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put your past behind you. Yes. yes. And don't have regrets because what I think remember what I always think about is time. I used to think time was unlimited, but it's not. Yeah. No, the clock's is... ticking. Yep, it's it's very limited. So we, we can't uh, take regret to the grave. I'm not gonna do it. Nope, not doing it. Good. So I, I like I, something about be healthy enough. They talked about, you know, to live, a, you know, love yourself enough to live a healthy lifestyle, which is what we always say. 
Um, but I really liked that. I thought of Sharon, be healthy enough to ride the rides and slide the slides. Yeah, just to live the life. Yep. Childhood doesn't end. Like, there's no limit to what we can do to play if we're healthy enough to play. Yeah. I'm going rock climbing next. You are. Really? Fantastic. Good. Uh, in our the the um gym that we've got got a membership to a free membership um they have a rock rock climbing thing <laughs> we stopped the other day and oh, I said yeah. is there a limit to how old you could be <laughs> no you know all these young kids so anyway I'm gonna do that I said I'm gonna climb that thing good I'm gonna oh, climb that mountain because there it is yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on the wall is but I'm going up it <laughs> that is awesome woo, woo. Anyway. okay you need major pictures and you need a video i know i gotta have somebody, somebody to take a picture somebody I needs to video it. you yes i have done some wall climbing rock climbing before too it's fun it's really fun so, so sharon i want you to, everyone congratulate round of applause to sharon for that yes absolutely sharon for has considering been, it yep <laughs> just for considering it Sharon has just recently become an official health coach with me on our team. Oh, go Yay. Sharon. Uh, <laughs> Napa Z for, sh for Sharon because she. Because um, you're living it and people are oh, seeing you. I mean, her heart bleeds. Like she can't look at a person and not be like, oh, you need the habits of health system. Like she's just like, like, like she just it's bleeds like it. Everybody she's, like me. <laughs> she's learning how to talk it, but it's hard, right? But it's, yeah. she's learning how to share it a little bit yeah. more. And, and well, that is some good news for Heart Month then, Sharon's big heart. And especially yeah, Sharon's big heart. not just one loss, Sharon's had several. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Months. How many funerals have you been to recently? Quite a few. And yeah. so it's it's really hitting her heart hard and um and, and it really started off with her just referring people into challenges and bringing friends to the challenges and stuff, which was really fun. And then eventually tell them about your brother. So we just talked to your brother today. Let, tell the success story of your brother. Well, he's kind of really actually come on board. <laughs> I mean, I he know. Was, he's he, 75. He, he's reading yeah. the life book. And he and, wasn't on board before? Well, not reading the life book. No, he... But he's reading the life book and learning, you know, pulling things out of there that he's learning. And I'm just like, good. Yeah. It's so, amazing. Um, he knows it's a journey. He's he's not perfect. And he knows he recognizes that. But he knows what, you know, he knows what he has. He knows what he has to do, just like everybody else. But he's got some, you know, he's got guidance and support in that. So. So. Just, yeah. He's learning. He's learning how to eat healthier, and, <laughs> and he's aware. How many, how many pounds? Seventy-five. What? How many pounds? Um, about twenty-five. Yeah, and he's seventy-five years old. Okay, so I just want to yeah. put this into perspective. Sharon is downplaying this a little bit. He's a seventy-five-year-old man. Okay, you're asking him to change. A. All right. <laughs> but no. What was his motivation? And B. Right. He. Okay, so A and B, he's 75, he's a man, set in his ways, right? Okay. <laughs> Very and much I, so. I didn't have a lot of hope for Alan, I'll just tell you Enough that. Said. <laughs> but Sharon, okay, Sharon went to bat for him and started with, and was very patient. But Sharon, what was his motivation? What's his motivation for doing this initially here? Well, he wants to travel. Mm -hmm. You know, he just wants to be able to walk the beaches of Mexico you know healthier and just be more active you know he's he wants to be active he's got a partner to travel with and and it's important for him to keep traveling yeah and he flew through he had his hip surgery he needed to get through and he needed to yeah. recover from so he started before the surgery and he recovered brilliantly right and mm -hmm. he recovered quickly and it was great and now he's he's thrilled and that has really caused him his results have really caused him to really take a look at this part too 
And yeah. the thing I love about Alan was that he had zero interest in cooking, would not cook, wouldn't cook. Like anything he ate would have to be from a microwave or a can, right? He just like, yeah. oh yeah. No. So he, he really loved the fuelings for that. He even, he even bought the taste of home lean and greens. He did not want to make a lean and green. So he bought the pre-made lean and greens. And it Maybe worked. You could do that. <laughs> and it worked. Yeah. And it worked. He literally did, didn't want to cook. But now he's starting to write. Yep. A little yep. bit. Yep. He's doing a lean and green. Mm -hmm. He's learning to make so. a lean and green. But in the beginning, he just bought them all. Just yeah. Said, because he's because he's learning what's healthy and what healthy feels like. Yeah. Yeah. That's he just amazing. He's learning what healthy is. And and what we uncovered today is that he is of the engineering mindset. So he he was a computer guy, a software guy, you know, very analytical, that kind of guy. And I have another client who's in his 70s like that. And if, if you can introduce the habits of health system to them, like element three, element one, two, and element three, element two and three, what, what is the outcome and how to create it? Step two, element two and three, the engineers go to work on that and they go, oh, you mean I can engineer my health? I can engineer the systems yeah. and the processes to make sure. You know, so men think like that, right? Yeah. I can fix my process. I can fix my procedure. I can get the outcome if I do A, B, C, and D. Like, that's how he thinks. Yeah. Problem solving. You know, he said he it's, did a lot of problem solving. It's problem so. solving. Women don't do that. They're like, oh, but I want to ride the rides and slide the slides. And, you I know, want to feel better. <laughs> I want to feel better. I look good in my skirt. Like, that's <laughs> but men. So if you're thinking about men in your life, think about it like that. You know, if they're resistant to it, think about it like they think about it, which is totally different than we think about it. Yeah, so, that's yep, good. He's kind of, he's coming around. Let's <laughs> take a But he's coming around. Shock. So, yeah. Shock. So I want to ask you, Sharon, you, your heart goes out to everyone you see. So how do you, how do you bring it up to some people? Well, how do you introduce that, That's. I'm not so good at that yet. <laughs> I mean, a lot of, lot of it is, hey, can I share a recipe with you? You know, because it's just, a, and most everybody's looking for healthier recipes. Can I share a healthier recipe? You know, can I share some healthy recipes with you? Yeah. And it, it's just starts she's to open literally up. Been, she's literally been Facebook phobic too and has only done maybe three posts. And I've done a couple of celebration posts of hers. She's maybe done maybe what two or three herself. Facebook phobic, I call it. Yeah. <laughs> one myself. <laughs> one yourself. Okay. No, I think there was a, a second one because you posted the sugar bag in there about how much sugar oh, was going to yeah. go. Okay. Anyway, yep. she posted about her sugar successes, three hundred days sugar, you know, three hundred days, and you know, and then how much sugar is in a in a can of Coke, and that started yeah. a ton. Of, that was like, that started like. Everybody was like, you what? How many days are you sugar? You know, I mean, that was like a floodgate. Yeah. And Sharon did not post anything about here's my, you know, my body before and after. Nothing like that. She just shared that, you know, she was sugar free. And and, and then it, it, it was just a floodgate, right? So people are, they know they're stuck. They just can't figure out how to get unstuck. So that alone, sharing your lifestyle, sharing your healthy meals, sharing recipes, sharing that you are, you know, really, you know, you're, yeah. you're, you're taking the sugar habit. That's been it for Sharon. That's it. She's only done a few things. And it's just like people are asking her, well, how are you doing that? Right? So I start with a healthy yeah. recipe. Yeah. And, and, and I don't mean to be rude, Sharon. It's the internet that's rude. I asked a question and walked away. Well, <laughs> it's just yeah. my internet cut me up. <laughs> It's okay. but that no I, I did catch the end there and that's great so it's like sometimes you have to help people realize what they actually already want they yeah. just haven't consciously worked yes. it out yet they haven't they haven't worked out how to do it and they failed so many times they can't even yeah. bear to think about yeah it. and there's the fear and trauma over that well what was the antidote of fear gratitude gratitude yeah so just even sharing gratitude, if you're going to post or share, 
just be like, you know what, I, if what's new in your world, my, I'm so grateful right now. Cause I, I just have support. I have structure strategy. I'm able to, you know, I'm, I'm sugar free and I'm feeling like a million zillion bucks. I'm even going to go rock climbing. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. I, you and know, there's some accountability too. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Yeah. And, and, and there is nothing, I told Kathy this today, right? There is nothing out there like, like what we have because Yes, there's Weight Watchers and yes, there's the, you know, they have apps and they have groups and whatnot, but here's the difference is that there's nothing that is as inclusive as what we have. There's nothing that mm. has everything, yeah. literally yeah. everything, that everything has parts and pieces, but this has it all. So there is really nothing to compare this system to. Um, I have clients who do no fuelings. I have clients who do aminos and protein powder in the three by three. I have clients who do the five and one and don't want to make a leaning green and buy a leaning green pre-made, right? Like everybody does something different and everyone has structure, strategy, support, you know, all the components and for real, in real time, not no apps, you know, it's not an app. It's not, you know, an 1-800 number. And someone could even get the, someone could even get the book if they didn't want the fuelings, right? I mean, you right. don't have to. Mm, just the books like and you said some there. don't even want to do the feelings they want to do it on their own but dr yep. a's got it figured out from you know mm -hmm. we really got to work bottom up listen to your body what are your needs yep um, and sure and got make the plan. she got three clients she got one of she's one one of five and one one is just doing the protein powder one actually mm -hmm. four and she has another one gail who's doing it all on her own no purchasing she found a cheap life book somewhere and another book She's not buying anything. I think she got it on eBay, maybe. Okay. And she's she's doing she's doing it. She's doing better. Yeah, because she's learning the stuff, and that's what I love. It's the lifestyle. Yeah. 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 And it's she's the personal she, development. She's eating five to six, you know. Yeah. Five she's, every two or three hours, and she said that really makes a difference. Huge. You know. Yeah. And she's yeah. Water down. So I mean, she's just the awareness you know i keep talking about a lot of awareness but yeah. all of a sudden you're aware of what you're putting in your mouth yeah mm -hmm. you know or not putting in your mouth and she's yeah making huge progress just because she's so. aware and sharon is putting here's something you know to do in front of her it's just amazing so yeah she's and she's just yeah she's very appreciative she thinks the support is awesome you know and she's a model uh, and she hasn't it is got awesome. her own book. <laughs> and we don't make them dime on any books, nothing. Like, you know, we don't. No. Yeah. So, yeah. But um, anyway. It's fun. It's fun. Because that's really four people. So that's really fun. And plus five, and that's your brother. In yeah. So it's, you're rock Roxy, let's hear from Roxy, ma'am. Let's hear what's going on in your world. Did you see Monday? What's happening with your vision boards? You did a wonderful job on your vision boards. Uh, yes, I I look at them on on live, but didn't take notes, and it's hard for me to remember yeah. everything. That's okay. The truth, yeah. That's but, okay. Uh, I think I really uh need to take you, notes. You, so in the moment, you love the inspiration in the moment. It keeps you going, right? Yes, yes. I mean, definitely. I was like, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, and I translating at the same like, time. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the the, the thing like uh, they say, you know, about forget yourself and uh, you know, just don't your past is not your future. Yes, and uh, don't talk about. Uh, I mean, to yourself, like you don't talk to anybody else. I I remember like little points. Yeah, from the whole story, but. Yeah, and and those are I, the important points. Yes, but I think I really need to make notes. So also, uh, I think uh, as I went to the Spanish, um, uh, the Spanish call, and uh, we review the element twelve or thirteen, and uh -huh. they said about uh, record everything, notes, and then I said like I have to do that. I really have to do that. Tracking, tracking. Yeah tracking yeah and and you know and your notes for everything like you want to remember like as a coach when i want to share something 
like positive you know they, they say a lot of things <laughs> and sometimes i'm like oh, what can i say yeah and, uh, you know it, it motivates myself a lot you know when i, I hear those stories and uh, okay I, i'm gonna turn around my computer see if oh, I'm okay. there's a vision board on the wall yeah awesome. my vision yeah. board is there and uh so i I'm working more uh, clear. I mean, like I'm really trying hard with my daughter. So she's there in the in the center. That's what I was waiting for. Get a picture of her. Even we look green, but it's it's so useless. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember you saved a nice spot for you and your daughter. Yes, that's, that's so beautiful. Awesome. Give her a hug for me. Yeah, and also uh, the other um, okay, closer. That other picture, it was a, I mean, a draw for a girl in a kingdom hall. I mean, a, and uh, she gave it to me in the pandemic oh, times. So yeah, I, I, it's just a little bit handsome, so maybe it's hard to look. Yeah, the yeah. drawing, yeah. But, you know, she, she puts there like a uh, proxy, a fitness girl. So that's the way she sees me. Awesome. And she's like uh she's like eight. So that's oh, wow. what I said. I, I really I mean I really want to be the fitness girl. <laughs> Not really, I mean oh, I don't yeah. know how to inspire but, people. You know, kids. putting you're putting the little girl pictures up, but putting the picture of your best you up is really great too, right? Your best Yeah, and that's how the little girl sees you. So that's nice. Yeah. 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 So I'm I'm really working on that and really um you know, being more, um, I said, uh, flexible with my daughter, with the relation with her. So I think I'm really, uh, help me see if I'm just doing it, just having this here in front and I see it every day. And, you know, the rest are are things that I'm still working on, but I don't want to, I mean, oh. I'm trying to not to. You well, know, I love like, that you, you've got it up right there in front of you every day. That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I can share, I think. That's mm -hmm. great. Awesome, Roxy. Good, yes. I have, my, I have my two boards up too, yeah. Roxy, and looking at them every day. I have a third one I'm working on, and then I have a fourth one that I'm collecting pictures for. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> wow. They're different topics. Uh, yeah, because, I, you know, there is a lot of things in there, but I always, I thought, like, that was the main thing in my brain going yeah. on. Right now. Yeah, that, yeah, that's where you start. You just let it be organic. So, Kathy, as you do it, let it be organic. Yeah. Like, whatever you're drawn to, just pull, 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 pull. And what I found was I had all kinds of things over here on this topic, and I had all kinds of things on this topic. And, you know, just, just let your brain just gravitate to what it wants. Roxy, I want to congratulate you because Roxy has been coaching. This is her three-year anniversary. This like Yay. last month, right? Yay. Yep. Yay. And Roxy has been coaching for three, well, three, uh, two and a half years, probably. Well, you she started coaching what? A month I, after I you signed up for yourself? A month after, was it? Yeah, I think I started in March, but I, I began, I put my first order for myself in this month. I mean, three years yeah, ago. February. Yeah, and then she, yeah, so she has been helping people all along the way and and really been an inspiration to other people in her in her community. And so I want to congratulate you and celebrate your three years with because that's a huge milestone. Uh, thank and, you. And and I want to say thank you for, uh, you know, to carry to talk about uh, about to me about you and, and all the program i didn't know what i was going into but i mean it's just a small tip but someone shared it to me and here i am happy okay, you, you, you yeah. keep paying it forward you keep paying it forward right yeah thank yeah, you so just keep paying it forward that's all you do and then they you know and, and yeah that she's just great at that and her weight has not been just steady any the whole time she has had a few what you've had some trauma in your personal life so she's had to deal with some emotional eating and and she's had to go you know and lose relose some weight a couple of times right roxy but she never yes. went, she never went back to where she started ever no no no, no, no. that's yeah. what i when i say that i mean like oh oh this is not I mean, doing fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again until I learn. 
Yeah. Good for you. Good catches, for you. She catches herself in the act and she learns it from every time and she's grown so much and she just keeps committed to page 136. What happened? What did you want to have happen? What's missing and what's next? And that is it. You just keep learning and growing. And Roxy, you've been a wonderful example of that and not beating yourself up, just beginning again. Yes, and, and, and being a coach that gives me that responsibility to, I mean, to to be on, on my best, uh, I mean, in, in yep. my my best uh, healthy life, you know, yeah, because yeah. I'm not going to say, oh, do this and I'm not doing it. Her integrity is on the line. Her reputation is on the line. So it helps her to yes. stay on the straight and narrow because she Yeah, has it's personal accountability. Yeah. And yeah. it keeps you going. So that's good. And 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 when your if your personal life is falling apart and your you know, your marriage, if you don't mind my saying, like this is big oh, stuff. This is big stuff. Like life happens. We all have big stuff. Yeah. But we got to still be in charge of what happens, how we react to it. And you, you just been brilliant and recreating your relationship with your daughter too. I mean, big stuff. That's good. Thank you. Thank you to the program. And thank you to all the people who make it possible. Like we are keep learning and sharing experiences. And I was, I always think, you know, if she did it, I can do it too. You know, absolutely. Yeah. There's not yeah, one of very us. proud, very proud of you, Roxy. And she's learning the lessons as she goes and doing double time. She does community time I'm on Monday night in English and Tuesday night in Spanish and her coaching and translating. And so it's extra work. But look at you. You're still going. Yeah. If you guys totally think, you, if you guys so think proud of you. trouble getting you. it all in, Roxy is double trouble because she's got to do it in two languages. Yes. Ah. So... Yeah, proud of you, Roxy. Love you. Very, very, Thank very. Thank you. I love you too, guys. <laughs> very proud of you. So Thank everybody, you. um, just keep up the great work. She, I, I know I want to still share, share your seventy year, seventy pound story, Betty. I will. Um, uh, it, we'll we'll do that. We'll do another inter interview. And this um, this coming up, um, maybe next few months, I'd love to do some interviews with you guys live because I think sometimes it's hard to write our stories. So I, I'd love to do some interviews. Carrie, you didn't get to share today, but uh, I know you have to go right now. So next time, I'm gonna put you on the spot first. Next time, so be ready. Yeah. Be ready. Yeah, you get out of it a lot. You're a good deflector. <laughs> He's a deflector, man. Okay. I love you. No, no, you're not. I'm not calling you names. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just say, I, I delete, delete, delete. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. Love you. And yes. uh, go love on somebody today and um, make your heart happy. happy. Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. Hugs, Thank everybody. You. Proud of all of you. Yes. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Be healthy and well.